guys, welcome back to the FC24 player career mode. We got some fantastic news in the last episode after the frustrations of Monday. That was reversed in part on Tuesday, yesterday, as we have another new club that are interested in us that we could potentially move to at the end of the season. So there will be multiple options on the vote at the end of the year. Al Nasser will be there. Mechelen will be there and the option to stay at Rakuv as well. <gasps> Thank the Lord we have the opportunity to have multiple options for you guys at the end of the season, which might be a few days away. Alternatively, we might be ending the season as soon as tomorrow. If we lose to Anderlecht over the course of two legs, then there are only four games left in the league. And we'll have one of those four against uh, Krakowia Krakow here uh, in today's episode. So... If we beat Anderlecht, bang in, we're in the semi-finals of the Conference League. If we lose, one more episode tomorrow and finale. So we are very, very, very close to the end of the season now. But first things first, we want to beat Anderlecht. Get us through to the semi-finals of the Conference League if we can. Thank you continually for your support in the comments section. We're saying thank you today to the three of you that are going to be on the board behind me as well. Thank you for all of those you that have shown your support on stream as well. Uh, Boykov. Derek Bermudez and Minty as well. Uh, appreciate the support very much. Thank you very much indeed. In fact, it wasn't just, it was Yuki Boykov. Thank you, Yuki. I appreciate it. So uh, I do, for those of you that aren't familiar, and I'll mention this at the beginning of a new season when uh, view, view figures are slightly inflated. I am live streaming this obviously on Twitch, but I'm now live streaming on YouTube as well on the main YouTube channel, Chesnoy Gaming. So if you wanted to come and watch on YouTube rather than watching on... Um, on Twitch, if you don't prefer Twitch, you prefer watching your live streams on YouTube. You can now watch on YouTube too. I won't dwell on it. We'll mention uh, we'll mention it a bit more in uh, the beginning of episode one of season four, depending on where we end up. So, Anderlecht first. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Three shots on target. We'll go for that. Avoid a loss. Conspiracy theory option is there again. They want an eight point five. So one imagines if they've set an 8.5 as an objective for the match rating, that they think we have a chance of doing well here. We'll have a look at Anderlecht's starting lineup and see how good they are comparatively to ourselves. So Maxime Dupé in goal, Patrice, Karna, Klein and Alvarez. So stronger fullbacks, but not so strong at centre-back. Amadou Diawara, Christian Arnstadt... Teo Leone in the middle, and then Anders Dreyer, uh, Alexis Flips, and Luis Vasquez through the middle. They're, they're all right, Anderlecht. They're better than we are in most areas, but they're not absolute worldies in any areas. So they're certainly a side we could consider ourselves able to compete with and potentially stand a chance of beating. So we'll try and get the beating of them. Where is this going to go at the beginning? It's over me, but... All oh, the keeper's not done very well with it. But Alvarez, the striker, gets rid. Kochigan into Svarnas. Not many options here. He's found me. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. I could maybe try a little cheeky pass with a through ball. It's not quite going to work through the middle. But we have been able to get Svarnas in out wide here. He's into the middle. Oh, it was cleared away. It was headed towards the man at the back post. Arsenic plays me in. Oh, the first touch angle's awful. Took me away from goal. So the shot came in. But unfortunately... Rather comfortably saved by the goalkeeper. No opening goal in the first 11 minutes of the game. But I tell you what, we are dominating so far. And this could end up at my feet again sooner rather than later. And maybe there'll be a secondary opportunity to take the lead in this quarterfinal tie. To even reach the quarterfinals is oh, achievement enough. But to actually stand a chance of getting through to the next round as well is fantastic. Vasquez into Leone. Teo Leone finds Vasquez again and... There's been a chance at both ends so far in the game, but the goalkeeper is equal to it here. Kovacevic able to get right behind it. Two solid, firm hands on the ball, and no Anderlecht goal. Kochigan, Plavschitz inside there to Papa Nicolau, and Kochigan again. Lovely ball, splitting the defence. We're cutting them apart here at the minute. We scored both goals in the last round against Brighton in the home and away leg to give us the 2 0 advantage. Oh, Sonny. Oh, it's kind of worked. I didn't realise I still had the ball. I wasn't expecting to come away with it there. Oh, man. Well, it's opening up for us at the back against Andalex, but we haven't yet been able to actually 
get a proper clear-cut chance on goal. My first shot that came in was at an awkward angle. And I'm just kind of bumbling about a little bit in the middle at the moment. Really not on my A game here, but it's nil-nil at half-time and we're still very much in it. Two nil-nil draws in the league recently. It looks like we might be getting one in Europe now as well. And just when we need to be at our brilliant best to get the potential win for the league over the line, the potential to get into the latter stages and very much with an opportunity to maybe win the Europa Conference League and the Polish Cup as well, we're off the boil. Now is not the time to be off any sort of boil. We need to be on the boil and red hot. And we're just not right now. Papa Nicolau. Oh, why? Just play the simple ball. Why are you going for a stupid back heel flick? Rawr. Drives me crazy when they do that. Intercept that, please. Well, he did. But Anderlecht still have it. And now Vasquez finds Vesheron. And Vesheron doesn't give Anderlecht the 1 0 lead. He should have. That is the most clear cut opportunity either side have created all game long. And if I can get support here from my teammate. We might be able to, on the back of their missed chance, take one of our own. But the pass from Sonny Kittel is so bad as well. A real lack of quality in what is a high-profile game here in a European quarter-final. Neither side showing any sort of quality whatsoever in the final third, be that shooting or passing. Yuri Vacheron, nice little tuck back. Hazard into Drea, nice block. Don't let them score now, well intercepted. That'll be game. It's going to be nil-nil in the first leg in Europe. We will have the second leg later in the episode. But for now, we have to turn our attentions back to the Polish extra classer And fingers crossed, get a win against Krakow. That was not a Krakow in game. But hopefully the next one will be. Dropped to the bench after that performance. But I believe the next game against uh, Krakowia Krakow will be... Mid oh, it's in like three days time so yes we will be able to train against ourselves back in the 11 at home against Krakowia Krakow and we'll show you the league table in just a moment so you can see exactly what the scenario is as we look to hone in on our first ever league title in this save we currently sit a point clear of Poznan who have won on match day 31 we also have a three point gap over Warsaw who haven't yet played on match day 31, but neither have we. We're about to now go and do that. Bit of fatigue in the side, quite a bit of fatigue in the side, actually, after the game against Anderlecht midweek. But, fingers crossed, at 6pm in the Polish Extra Class, so we can get three points this time. Three nil-nil draws in the last four games. Now we need a win. Three shots on target. It's not going to be that straightforward, I don't think, but we'll try it here at home in front of our own fans. Hopefully we can actually put in a bit of a performance. Oh, Krakowia Krakow sat mid to low table. They're not really challenging for anything this year. That was an unintentional tackle, but a nice tackle nonetheless. Kittel to Koch again. I tell you what, it'd be a great start if we could just go and take the lead in the first 10 minutes here. And we're starting with real intent. Looking with the ball through. Koch again. Well, that's the start we very much needed. That is unbelievable football. Krakow haven't even touched the ball yet. And we're already 1-0 up. Lovely finish at the near post too. I'll take the assist as well. Slotting it through there on my left foot into Koch again. Who gets a good first touch and a brilliant finish. Boop, 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 ba, boop, boop, boop. We are marching towards this league title. Ogbene in behind with pace. Cutback is available. He's gone for goal! Our lead doesn't last long. 1-1 one, one the scoreline now as Ogbene takes the shot from there. And that should never in a million years find its way into the back of the net. But it has and they're level. Good run by Koch again. Try and slot him in around the side again. He's trying to turn. He's actually found Kittel well. Oh, it's gorgeous again. On oh, my left foot. We return the favour. I've got to celebrate with him, I think. Koch again. Buried as I played him through. He plays me through. I can't celebrate with him at all. It's Rakuv Krakowia 2. Chesterhova, sorry. And Krakow. Oh, my God. Rakuv Chesterhova 2. Krakowia Krakow 0. Ah! Yeboah, I'm going to call for this here because he's only going to end up losing it. 
he says as he nearly ends up losing it. Get it in there to Lederman. Lederman to Koch again. And Sonny Kittel! Driven hard and low at the near post. And the keeper gets down low to it this time to stop it from going in. Am I underneath this? I am. But so are two defenders as well. And Tanisov is the one that gets it away. And Skovgar does very well to get the clearance in there. But this is going to fall back to us. It's actually advantage in their favour here. So no, no third goal for us yet. As they have an injury now. Sorry, Tiago. Klavšic, Bruno Costa. I've positioned myself well there. You've just run offside there, I'm afraid, my man. But Solonats gets himself back in position. If Sonny can find me here, we are in. Oh, and I can't pull the trigger quickly enough before the defender puts his toe in. I'm still on a 10 out of 10. I don't actually feel, other than the goal and the assist, that I've actually played that well, if I'm completely honest. Some of my link-up play has been subpar, but we are in for another goal here, potentially, if Lederman can find the back of the net. And as a team, we have a third goal. 3-1 to Rakuv, Chester Holver, and at the top of the table, our gap will be at least three, if not more. There's only 60 seconds left in this fixture, and at the moment, we're going to get another 10 out of 10 for our career here, and I might have maybe the chance... Oh, of another goal, and that is one of the best goals from outside the box we've scored. It's not flown into the top corner, but it's rifled in, skimming across the surface into the bottom corner. It's outside the box as well, which is wonderful, and I'm not sure whether the keeper got anything on it, but it's actually... No, he didn't. It's actually a really, really good goal, that. One of the most impressive we've scored, genuinely, even though it's not... Visually, aesthetically, wow. Still an exceptional goal. In the 93rd minute, we make it 4-1. Probably the last kick of the game. Indeed it is. A 4-1 win. Was it worth going through three nil-nil draws to get the 4-1 win? Probably not. But it meant that we didn't lose against Anderlecht in the first leg at least. So we'll take it. We didn't score in those three games at all. And then... Four goals come at once, two of which scored by me, one of which set up by me. Goal conversion percentage of 66%, one assist, two goals, three goal contributions in one game for, well, actually, only the third or fourth time in my career. We've got one there. I presume that's going to be a man of the match. I'm just preemptively saying that. So two goals, two goals, no assist, two assists, but no goal, two goals, but no assist. 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 Two assists, but no goal. Two goals, but no assist. But here, against Morecambe in Not uh, Knox County in just my 14th game of my career, I did get two goals and an assist. So for just the second time in my career, I contribute that third time against Sivaspor. Here, we got two goals and an assist for Adana Demispor. So for just the third time in my career, we contribute to three goals in a single game. Well, that's how you fire your team to a league victory. Oh, Vasava drew. Another big result for us. Definitely man of the match. We were expecting that, weren't we, to be completely honest, when you get a 10 out of 10. Uh, player agent, you're playing as well as you ever have right now. Uh, I'm not sure how readily I agree with that, but certainly we're playing very well indeed. Activity-wise, high match performance. Yeah, tough very much. We'll keep working hard, though, because there's a giant game around the corner now. In the Europa Conference League semi-final potential, we need to beat Anderlecht at home in this quarter-final second leg to get to that semi-final. We also have a semi-final of the Polish Cup coming up as the first game of the next episode as well. So it's all systems go in three competitions right now. But at the end of the video, will it still be three competitions? Conversion rate of 66%. Weirdly, I did actually just do that in the last game, didn't I? I'm going to go for the enhanced target of the win here. Because ultimately, we're in a position where we need to win. Because it's a knockout competition and the second leg of which as well. So it is winner takes all today after a nil-nil draw back in Belgium. Which might be a, a nation where we're playing our football next year, depending on, depending on where you guys vote. Anderlecht versus Mechelen might be a league fixture we're involved in next season. Alternatively, it might not. That's where the unknown comes in with you guys and your voting habits. I can never tell which way you are going to vote. 
But Mechelen will be on the vote, we anticipate. So potentially this could be a league fixture next year. Try and poke that through the gap, but it doesn't quite work, unfortunately. Looking for Jamal Lowe that's playing out wide on the left-hand side to start here. A very rare start for him this season. Stood up, but Tudor's in the way. They've given it away, however, so they've lost their advantage. Here's Kittel. I'll go for the run down the line. It's a lovely ball. Can I get the turn in to beat the defender? Yes. I'm in. Against Anderlecht here at home. I can't get the goal. Dupay makes the save. I tried to put it top left corner. And unfortunately, the accuracy just wasn't there. That's the best chance of the entire two-legged tie so far to get a goal. For me, or for anybody on either team, Jamal Lowe goes back there to Svaranas. And he's given it away to Drea. Half an hour in here. Only 60 minutes left to go with regulation time and it's still nil-nil, but it definitely shouldn't be. That's my fault. I've got to bury that. Sparnas again. Oh, it's a lovely run. It's a great dink. I'll nod this down. Sonny Kittel. That hit a hand, did it? It did. Free kick opportunity. I had one in a similar position in the last game and I wasn't able to take it. Can we do it this time? I'll put even more power on it than we did last time. Oh, what a stop by the keeper. And again, Dupay at the double to deny us the goal to go in front. Last time we were in a cup competition and it went to penalties, I missed my penalty. Oh! With the overhead kick! It doesn't go in, Dupay denying everybody right now. What a start to the second half it could have been with an unbelievable free kick, then an unbelievable save, then an unbelievable overhead kick and another unbelievable save. It's still nil-nil, but how? Arnstadt given away. They were starting to play a little bit of uh, good football there, Anderlecht, but they've ruined it themselves. Here's Tudor. Back to Papa Nicolau. Through the gap there. Saibari's off the bench. The cross was, I think, headed towards me or the other man on the edge of the box there. Cochingen going off. And a change for us. Not sure who it is that's come on. It's Bergeren. He was the one that scored the winning penalty in the Polish Cup. To give us the win there. And. Oh. It hasn't gone in. The man at the back post. Trying to sneak in. It is another corner. It came off the defender. But Yeboah at the back stick there. Could have turned that home. Where's this one going? That's over me. And Patrice wins the header. And they will clear. Will they know? Papa Nicolau. Oh. Saibari. You were in. Oh. It just won't fall for us at the minute. Will it? We definitely decide to look more likely. Of getting a winning goal. In this game from open play. Tudor. Saibari. Under control with my head. Oh, but I was offside. I think I'm going to be off. It's not what we want. It's not what we need, ultimately. But it might be what we get. His flips down the wing. What we certainly don't want, at the very least, is an Anderlecht goal. Regardless of whether I'm on the pitch or not. But they've been really good in possession here. Saibari with the interception. And I am coming off. I feared it might be happening. Suranat comes on in my place. That's all I can do for now. It's out of my hands. Now we cross our fingers, cross our toes, cross our arms, legs and eyes and hope for the best. Just over five to go in extra time here. There's been no chances in the extra 30 so far. Both sides continually very cautious in attack and defence. Meaning that opportunities on goal have been few and far between throughout the entirety of the two legs. I have had chances in both games though to grab a goal. Chances I haven't taken. And as a result, we look like we're destined for a penalty shootout here. For a chance to go through to the semi-final of the Europa Conference League. It looks likely of penalties unless something dramatic happens here right at the death. Which it is not going to. Pens. For a chance to get through to the next round. To be just one round away from the final in Europe. It is Pens. Zvolinski up first for us. Saved by the keeper. Torgan Azar buries it. 1-0 Anderlecht. Advantage Belgium. Jamal Lowe. Good pen. Good pen. It's Yuri Vacheren for Anderlecht up next. 
Tries the Penenka, doesn't work. 1-1 one, one apiece after two each. Saibari's had his saved as well. Vasquez. Oh! 2-1 after three apiece. Three apiece, three apiece. Sodanats buries at least. Drea steps up for Anderlecht. He's in the post. It's wide. Papa Nicolau buries. They need to score here, Anderlecht. They must bury it. Patrice does so. We continue to sudden death. Bergeron, the man that won us the penalty shootout in the cup domestically, might have won us the penalty shootout in the cup continentally. Ritz steps up. Wow! How is that for a pen in a pressure situation? Pest cut. Berries. This is nervy now. Penalty seven for Anderlecht. It's Alvarez to take. 5-4 it reads. 5-5 five, five it does now. On to an eighth round of penalties. Arsenic, our centre-back, buries it. Terrible penalty, but in it goes nonetheless. And Klein for Anderlecht now. Does the same. Oh, my God. Will it ever end? Ninth round of penalties. Svarnas scores. 7-6 on penalties, it reads. Hundiai. 7-7 seven, seven it is to a 10th round of penalties. Adrian Griskovitz saved by the keeper. 7-7 seven, seven it still reads. Kana for Anderlecht sends the Belgians through to the semi-final of the Europa Conference League. We are out. Gutting to have not been on the pitch for the final 35-ish minutes in that game. Gutting. But I've nobody to blame but myself. If I'd have buried my chance, I'd have had a... A, would have had the lead. B, I'd have had a high enough match rating not to get taken off. But I didn't bury the chance. I didn't have a high enough match rating. And we won't go through. Stan René, knockout Villarreal. Spurs knockout Atalanta. Wolfsburg edged through against Mulder. And Anderlecht win 8-7 on penalties. The furthest we've gotten in any European competition thus far in our career. A really difficult time for the boss, apparently, but I'm not sure about that. <sighs> Poor manager performance is unfair. We are literally top of the table and we've gone out in a European quarterfinal when we really don't have the quality to have gotten that far in the competition in the first place so we're not gonna we're not gonna say anything mean about the boss we are definitely right behind him and tomorrow in the next episode it will be another semi-final or another sorry knockout round no is it this is the league game Zagwembia is it no we played Zagwembia Lubin in the cup before didn't we it's the Radomiak Radom game that's the cup. So Zagwembia, Radomiak, and uh, Pogon's Jetsin will be the games tomorrow. And hopefully we will have a Polish Cup final to play as well as the game against Gurnik Zabja at the end of the season. Or just one game in the season finale where hopefully we'll lift the title. And then you guys will get the vote as to what happens next in the save. Either way, there will be a maximum of two episodes left this season. We're going to be in the starting lineup next time out. And the chance of a treble is gone, but the chance of a double still very much lives. Drop the video a like, subscribe to the Chesnoy Plays YouTube channel so you don't miss out on more. Come and join me on the stream, be that on YouTube, on the Chesnoy Gaming channel, or Twitch on the Chesnoy Gaming channel. And I will see you tomorrow.